What is going on guys? This is your boy Diffusey and we are playing a walkthrough through Dying Light and the reason I chose this is because Resident Evil 7 is coming out and I am already pre-ordered it and paid it off in January 24th it's gonna be played and walked through and uh, I'm gonna be walking through Watch Dogs 1 uh, cause Watch Dogs 2 is coming out, so let's get into this. Okay. Now, I've done a walkthrough one, but, I don't know, it just didn't work out, I don't know why. <laughs> so, we're obviously gonna do a new game. Activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Iran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Yep, it details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Leg there, didn't I told you, buddy? You that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up, all of you. Stop. Loud noises draw them. Fall back. Fall back. One of us? We'll see. 
So I've only played a little bit of this game. Haven't really played a lot of it. I know Dying Light the Following is already out. But I was at GameStop yesterday and I thought I might you pick it up. Him. You're scared. I'm not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! <sighs> Okay. You sleep for three days like a dead man that scared children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The bus will leave you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Thirty-one, in fact. Too dangerous. Can I run? No, can't. He died because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get a meal on this scene. I didn't even touch the door. <laughs> That's all right. Mark at all. Hey, I'm looking for the. Are you the boss? What? Am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I. You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can. I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and its runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your Anderson was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the Anderson meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but you might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. I'm not lazy, you little shit. What did the zombie say to his date? Oh God, dude, enough with this stupid... Where do you think you're going? 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Jesus. 
How many people died here? Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisem ASAP. Help! Had you... Help! Somebody! What the hell? Jesus, you, you all right, man? I cut my arm, getting away from him. Oh, God, you had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was, that was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. <laughs> Please hurry. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes and alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. 
I'll take care of him from here. Well done, 31. Hey, 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. still has electricity, but for how long? <laughs> All right, taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. Rahim, all right. Just noticed that my mic was turned off the whole time. <laughs> so, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. Gym? What are you talking about? It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. That's how you jump. That was X the whole time. My bad. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I should be wearing a parachute for this.
Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! It's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Okay. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. well for this. The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Oh, I gotta get back up here. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm I'm turning? Most likely no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zeredo. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antison. Damn, that shit hurt. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the quartermaster. He'll uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. <laughs> 